When we were in fourth grade, how difficult was it to watch a movie? I don't really remember. No Netflix, as we know it today. Barely any YouTube. Awesome VHS. That was fucking crazy. Definitely yeah. watch more movies back then. Choice is overrated. Choice? Yeah. <laughs> I, honestly, I feel like, okay, if Netflix didn't experiment. Uh huh. You know, but that's, that's, a, that's a thing with like e commerce stuff where like, don't give your consumers choice, give them exactly the, the products that you want to offer them. So if Netflix had five movies every day, every week. Yeah, I think, I feel like, because I sometimes I go on Netflix and I just, I'm like, it's like, this is too much. Yeah. If I can't make a decision in 30 seconds, I'm out, you know? But if it was just like five movies, like fucking, I don't know, maybe I get to choose the, the genre. Yeah. Give, give me five comedy movies. Fuck it. Super algorithm based or what? You yeah. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't, I kind of like, I don't know. Sometimes I don't fuck with the algorithm because I like finding new shit. But sometimes the algorithm like tests and gives you new shit. But what if it just gave me new, new shit all the time? Because that's how I found that Nigeria song. I was just looking on like the hot playlists of each country, and I found this one. And I was like, dude, that's just because it's popular, which is kind of an algorithm in itself. Yeah, but I wouldn't. Oh no, this one was the Apple Music. Oh, I guess so. But it was like, curated people, by a person. People liking it. It's kind of an algorithm. Yeah, but I don't think I would have ever heard it. I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna be an international song. Well, I'll make it, dude. Pat it, Pat it again. I'll, Pat I wanna take a break just so I can hear it again and do I mean, you got anything else? I I'm kind of a little hot it out. A little bit, a little bit. I don't have any headlines. I know Kelly Mayne hit us with the great uh they're going contactless on the Apple and we had the great cloud computing bit with the Ian Moyes. Yes, Ian Moyes, thank you for your time. His last nice name stuff. sounds like moist. Is it moisty or moist? He didn't moist. correct us. He has it. He has it. Uh, he really, really did do a great job with like curating, especially as someone who's going on podcasts. Like in his LinkedIn, you can hear his name. He has one of those things, and, it, and it's kind of like he said it's like B two B stuff he's in, so it's a little more LinkedIn-y than other platforms. But I want to know what he thinks of the Apple promotion display. <laughs> He probably, I don't know, probably had it. I bet he would fuck with it, or he probably wouldn't care. <laughs> I, it kinda, he kind of strikes me as a PC guy. Ooh. PC just means personal computer, yes? Yeah. Okay, so Apple. Did. I'm all about, I'm all, yo, if you love Android, that's fine. That's cool. But if you're like so pro Android, but you've never tried iPhone ever, fuck off. Maybe you try, like you just re up on a phone. I don't know if, like, if you know. haven't given, if you haven't given the other side at least like three months. People don't just like buy phones. Like, I mean, I guess techie. I mean, people, people re up their phone like at least once every three years, I would say. When's iPhone 8 come out? iPhone 8 came out, don't tell me. iPhone 8 came out 2017. It's about on time. Man, what he was talking about, uh, the, I forget what it was specifically. I think my internet was a tiny bit laggy, but he was talking about the top companies around for like 62 years. Is that what he was saying? Yeah. And then now top companies around <clears throat> five to six years. Yeah. Okay. That cycle, yeah. very interesting to me. Business cycle. That makes sense. What, it, like, like how old is fucking Uber? Probably 2017, 2014. Oh, I'm going to guess. Let's say 2010. I think, I think they've been around for a little bit. But that's like, what, 11 years? August 30, 2017. Uber? Yeah. No. Bro, I was using Uber in oh, high no, school. Oh, no, CEO, CEO. Uh, sorry. You using Uber in high school? My first Uber yeah. was in, in Tucson. They used to be Uber Cab. Loser. Yeah. Uh, founded I, March 2009, 12 years ago. I used Uber when it was marketed toward like uh, was it like your personal driver, like a luxury thing. In my first Uber, the guy's wearing a suit. They went back to it. They have their uh, their Uber Black or something, right? Yeah. The first I I remember my friend told me he's like, yeah, I got drunk and I took an Uber home. I was like, uh, what? <laughs> he's like, yeah, dude, it's like it's like a taxi. It's on your phone, bro. 
I was like, oh shit. And then I called one and it pulled up to my house. And my dad was like, yo, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> and I just got in the car and I dipped. <laughs> what was, yeah. are there any other things tech wise that you had like that oh shit moment? I was uh, thinking, I was, I was using um, an app called POAP. Um, it's kind of just like an NFT app. I, it, I think it's marketed right now because it's something with like a V friend, but it's something with like kind of like tickets where like it shows you where it's here. But I was on it and um, like it was a really like smooth app and it seemed new. And like I think I was using it through the MetaMask browser. Mm hmm. I think even using MetaMask as a browser for the first time, I was like, "Oh, this is this is something different. Like this is this is new." I really don't like MetaMask. Well, I I haven't used a. They're using it on the browser. I don't understand why people are like, "I like these wallets, but not these wallets." I kind of so, get it, but like, it's a wallet. It gives... well, I mean, yeah, they all do the same thing, but like MetaMask doesn't show you. I use a I use an I use an app called Rainbow with the with Uniswap built in. And it tells you the USD value of all your individual coins, which MetaMask sometimes does, but doesn't always do. And I don't like on MetaMask how you have to uh, manually put in each coin that you buy. So you need to like paste in the contract and then it comes up with Coinbase wallet and with Rainbow, it just shows up. For like weird altcoins or like any coin? For weird altcoins. Well, there you go. But, like, but everyone like I think MetaMask is popular because you can do all the not all of them, but like the, all the popular blockchains like fucking Binance, Ethereum, and Polygon. But Rainbow is only Ethereum. Coinbase Wallet is Bitcoin, Ethereum. I think Binance. I'm not sure. I think I was reading because there's a new wallet developer that was trying to get into the browser space and their stick was like a lot of wallets are going just towards mobile platforms, which I thought interesting because allegedly I use MetaMask on the browser more. Um, but I thought that was interesting because I kind of yeah. assumed that wallets just kind of went towards browser. So there's two wallets for um, Cardano that are... Shout out, dude. I need... D D Daedalus sucks for me, man. Dude, Daedalus sucks. It's yeah. too heavy of an app. You know, big. it's big. You fucking, it's like you're running After Effects on that shit. It is. There's another one. D does it connect? Like, does it connect all the time to your blockchain, to the blockchain? Yeah, but like when you close it, it that's the start over. Like it, it it disconnects me after 20 minutes of loading it up. Something. Yeah, fuck that. There's another one. I think it starts with a Y. And it's super light. It's mobile. Only. It's the same thing. You just stake your shit. I, I I have a a negative conception of connotation of your Roy. I don't know why. Really? Alexander uses it. He likes it. I think I like Daedalus just because it's from input output. HK. Yeah. Like it's my good. computer, like my, my computer is fucking like it's a good computer. Like I don't I don't really fuck around. It yeah. struggles to run Daedalus. Yeah. Like, no, it's I, interesting. I can't really run Daedalus. I use my my old PC. Uh -huh. My HP. No, my old Asus. Uh, just because I wouldn't want to do it on my, <laughs> my um, the only reason I like that it's so hard to get on is that it's like a, a thick layer that prevents me from selling. <laughs> it's such I a mean, it'll be such a hassle to sell that card out. That's good. Yeah, yeah, I just I I'm I'm over there staking, man. I might have to go on your Roy, man. It's but like I I I can't even. It's hard for me to. I, grab my addresses because I can't really get on. Damn. That's if if you, good. do you know off top, if you are depositing into an address on data list, if it automatically go, have you, are you staking? You stake? Yeah. Does it automatically go into your pool that you're staking? I, I believe I, there's a setting that lets you like say a hundred percent of your wallet. Hmm. And I have a hundred percent of my wallet staked. I was under my impression that it does it right away if you deposit, but I feel like it could also not be that way. I'm staking so hard. What do you mean? 
just just sticking sticking hard dude I've, made, I've earned like 400 cardano so far i think if it will load it's going to take a couple days to load That's Belly, it. Ba- All right, let's, wrap up, man. let's wrap it up thanks, thanks for, for listening to ricker and bond you've made it to the end go grab yourself a team ricker or a team bond hat or some other merch on adobehouse.live slash store. I would suggest the Team Ricker hat, personally. It's but if you, me wearing a hat on a hat, so that's pretty cool. But if you want to be loved by your friends, your peers, and everyone, to step out in a fresh Team Bond hat, you're going to get the love of your life. You're going to get your dream girl in a Team Bond hat, for sure. But if you have a Team Raker hat, you bypass all the love of those fake fools and only get your, your loving family plus success that would be bogged down usually by all that trying to get affirmation from other people. You don't need them. Well, okay. You well, when you put it like that, you put it like that. If you want to just drip out, just be swaggy as hell, just walk out of the door and just like look like you know how to dress team bond all the way but if you want your mindset and discipline dripped out you're gonna want that hashtag team breaker hat on your dome if you want to just be like damn just the coolest cat at the club everyone's like bro are you like asap rocky because you know how to fucking dress if you want to pull a rihanna hop on a team bond hat you know i don't think a lot of people are saying hey man that elon musk guy is dripped out that <clears throat> Mansa Moose, I think Mansa Moose might be kind of dripped out. Elon Musk is dripped out because if you're wearing a black shirt, Elon Musk is always in the Bond Gen fit. He's always in the black shirt. That's how that's why he's so drippy. But that's you know, that's other people don't see that drip. That's what that's oh, you want to love of all your friends and peers there? Like, oh, I need some 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 weird drip. No. You know when things are just so good you don't even notice them? Like how cloud computing is just so efficient, you don't even notice it. Sure, sure. That's how that's how stealth the Bond Gen fit is. Like you don't even notice it. It's just like, oh, that guy looks good. You can get that as well. Uh, <laughs> store slash store. Big sale for that Bond Gen T-shirt. Uh, Big sale. We're almost giving them away. This is your chance. It's made of just dead Egyptian, Egyptian cotton. Or... It's made of a hundred percent pure Egyptian cotton. It's just so slow. I just feel like life's slow, dude. I feel like I'm in real time and I want to see it in fast time. You want to see but it I think, in but fast I, I was also thinking, you know, just evolution of life and tech and stuff. I was also thinking it's, it's pretty cool privilege to see life in real time as well. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you just got to take a step back and be like, you know what? I don't want life to go too fast. This is probably the easiest my life will ever be. I hope not. I don't even, like an overview of life. I'm not even talking about personal. Oh, like technology? Life. Yeah. Oh. Like six years. I mean, it'll get fast. It's good a good day. time to be mid-20s. Enjoy your, your time with whatever you do. Go tell your family and friends you love them. Go write down some goals and plan out a nice agenda for yourself. And uh, fucking wash your ass, you crusties. Catch yeah. you next week. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>